Um, all right, we got here. We got ants. We got otter. Mosquito. Okay, I think I like ants early on, and otters are nice for buffing. Just whatever, make the ant a little bit healthier. And I just I don't love mosquitoes in this. Um, another ant. We I, I think we like that. I and I think I like the idea of this ant having a chance of buffing that. And I almost just combined them by accident. Um, this ant dies. It has a chance of buffing that ant to a, a buff dude. I don't want to save on any of these. Here we go. Oh. The blatant buttocks alliteration? I think so. Alright, here we go. Versus the Hooting Fanboys. Ah, this person's setting up their deck for a summoning build or something. Nah, you stand no chance. You stand no chance, good sir. Oh. No, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this guy's going for summoning build. Although you summon a cricket when you die, don't you? No, that was a mosquito. No, we're good. Yeah, get bodied. There we go. Dubs for days. You'd love to see it. Victories feel good. All right, we want now another otter combined with you to maybe uh, buff some of these guys. Maybe there we go. And all right, that one not my the one I would have chosen to buff, but such is the RNG life. I don't love pigs or mosquitoes at all, or beavers, or uh, crickets are okay for summoning builds, but I guess we're just gonna roll again, I suppose. Um, okay, just RNG just slaps me in the face and s calls me names. All right, whatever. And really, just you, you, you're gonna do me dirty like you're gonna do me dirty like that. You're just gonna do me dirty like that. All right, fine. Give a plus one, plus one to uh, this ant. Whatever. Fine. End turn. Not the RNG I was looking for. But I think with a spot of luck. Oh God! I oh okay we're okay. That's a five five fish in the front and uh, oh boy, that's uh not the RNG we were looking for. This guy's got some. Got some boys, huh? Oh, just because the horse in the back. Unlucky. Should have bought some more stuff. I feel like as soon as my units are gone, I feel like as soon as my units are gone, the battle should just insta end, right? That's fine. It's just one heart, no big deal. Mm -hmm. What we got? Do I do I try the peacock strategy? I can never get the peacock strategy to work. Should I just, one of these days, it's gonna work, right? One of these days, it's gonna work. You're going to the front. We're gonna make it work. All right. Crab. Eh, pass. Another peacock, okay. Double peacock strategy, maybe? Double peacock strategy, and these guys can just, like, buff up him. Or maybe we should have them... Actually, I should have these guys in the front. There's a chance they buff the peacocks, right? Um... When is this ever useful to make a friendly friendly pet faint? I guess they have a faint... faint. Oh, I guess if you want to, like, faint them to give somebody plus two plus one and get rid of it. I mean, I guess. I don't know. It's one way to clear out a unit. Another ant, uh... Maybe I undervalue the 4 or 5 rats, I don't know. Hmm... I think we... I mean, I think we can combine them. We freeze you, we combine these to a little two. In the future. And... I could use the elephant to, like, kind of buff your attack early a little bit, I don't know. Roll again. I think we just, uh, lost the RNG. Let me try once more. Blatant buttocks coming in hot versus the chunky sausages. You wish. Okay. That 3-4 looking threatening. We should have the 4-3 in the front, huh? There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, got a couple peacocks. Gonna do some damage. There we are. That's looking better. That's what you like to see. Overkill. Alright, got attacked twice to take him out. Oh no. We're... Wait. Tie? No. Oh, tie? Tie. I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw. I shall indeed. Bleep. Alright. Um, I think we may want to combine you guys. Oh, camel. Camel might be an option. Although I've been having a hard time getting the camel into the peacock strategy to work, but maybe early it might be worth. Honestly, just spending food on the peacocks might not be a terrible idea. Although I feel like rolling might be a better choice. Maybe I, maybe I undervalue the value of food. Maybe I should use food more, huh? Maybe I overvalue it. Maybe rolling for the right units is better. We're going peacock. Alright. I see you with your, like, rather healthy units. Like, you got a lot of... You've been spending a lot of money on food for your boys, or what? There we go. There's that 6-8 peacock. How come he didn't send any health back? I guess he has to, like, survive it. 
the camel's supposed to send health back to my guys in the back. Jeez. How are you guys so strong, man? I guess this guy's just been... I guess he just, like, spent money on food? Oh, boy. That's a... Alright, don't worry about it. Never happened. I don't lose. Okay. Turtle... I can never get anything good going with the turtle lately, it seems like. I can go ahead and uh, do this and get some health. There you go. Peacock. Eat shop food. I haven't really done a worm strategy. I mean, plus one, plus one. It's like, yeah, it's all right. I mean, spend like, I don't know. I'm t I, I can't, like, we got him on turn. Five. If I get a worm on like turn three or something, I might go a worm strategy, but not on turn five. It's a bit late to be pumping food into him. All right, you've got. I can't sw swap their position. Well, actually, I can't if I, like, do that, and then do this. I think we, uh, just pump food into our peacocks, right? And that's how you win video games? I could try to level up the camel again. Maybe it would be worth getting a level 2 camel. Might be decent, actually. Do we, do we hold on to the salad? End turn. And just eat a lot of food. Get big and strong, eating all our food. Speaking of which, I went grocery shopping yesterday, maybe the day before, and uh, I got lots of tasty food. Cheese sticks, delicious. Um, cheese stick, the breakfast of champions. Don't you touch my otter. Otters are cute, wholesome, adorable creatures. Alright, here we go. So when they die, they don't actually trigger their effect to the guy behind them. They have to survive the hits. Get bodied, nerd. There we go. That's the peacock strategy, the double peacock strategy. The double peacock strategy is how it's done. There we go. Beautiful. You love to see it. Oh, blowfish hurt, deal two damage to a random enemy. Mm, combines nicely with the that combines nice with the elephant actually. Uh, I don't love the summoning strategy. I feel like the the summoning strategies very seldom are winning strategies. Here, I think we just use the salad. Not the ones I wanted to give it to. I, I wanted to go these two, but no, well, such is life. Sometimes the world hates you. Hates me. Alright, I don't want any of you. I do want to... Or at least one of them got to where I wanted to go. I mean, the camel's not bad either. Um, I can save this salad bowl. I feel turn 6 might be a little bit late to try to get the dodo strategy going. Unless you get super duper lucky, which usually doesn't happen. Another salad bowl and another peacock. Triple peacock strategy, question mark. Whale, beaver, badger. No, roll. Hmm... Passing all this, enter. Maybe the triple peacock strategy, replace the otter? Otter's only a 3-4. Alright. Cheesy buttocks. Buttocks versus buttocks. I've seen a lot of buttocks around here. Mouse of them. Alright, whale doing his thing. Oh boy, he's got like the whale horse summoning strategy combination, huh? That's fine. I got my ants. 9-11 peacock. Um. Okay, there we go. That's better. 10-13. I was gonna say, what's that, what's that cursed number? Oh boy, huh? You guys are doing things. Oh, just get bodied. I don't even have garlic yet. Oh boy. This this guy's going hard on that summoning build. There we go. Is this gonna be a draw? This is gonna be a draw. I'll take it. Summoning builds can be very strong early on, but they kind of suck in late game. Oh, well, sometimes you might get lucky. And when the turkey rat strategy is great if you can get it to work. Alright, um. Oh, we, oh, there we go. Upgrade our camel. 6-9. We got a rhino knockout. Deal 4 damage to first enemy. I mean, it's only a 5-6. Probably, probably won't even get a knockout. We sell the otter. And we go for the triple peacock strategy. Boom. Or we can combine them. And this will turn into like a... Oh, a 7-11. Uh, 7-11. US uh, convenience store. That gives itself plus 4 attack when hurt, which... Nah, I'm liking the triple peacock strategy for now. Oh, there's another dodo. Um, and then we go a couple salad bowls. Increase the, honestly, doing this increases the odds of the peacock getting this from the buff from the salad bowl. There we go. And uh, then we uh, enter and hope for the best. Enter and hope for the best. Oh, that's a 9-8 up front, but I also have a 9-8 up front. Alright. That's... A nice little trade. Oh my, what is with this 18 damage to the guy behind him? What the heck was that? What, what caused that? I need to roll that back, huh? Instant replay. There we go. Ow. What is this? What is this? What is doing that? What's causing that? What was... 
Ah. What was causing that thing that was doing so much damage to the guys around him? Oh god, don't worry about that. Didn't happen. I never lose. Keep, keep it going. Uh, giraffe sounds pretty tasty right about now. I could combine you and you and just... The 1-5 didn't do much, to be honest. And uh, Having a giraffe buffing these guys would be nice. Put you in here. Put the ja giraffe behind here. Giraffe. To buff this guy. Or maybe... Actually, I kind of want to like... I want to change the... It's so hard to like change the order of your peacocks. I want the one that's more got more experience up front. There we go. Then you in front of him. No, 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 wait, no. Came up front. Ant in front of that. Then, there we go. It's so hard to like reorder the like the the units because if you if you just drag it onto them, they just merge. All right. Th now the one that's like closer to being like leveled up is gonna get buffed by you, and you get buffed by him, and you can buff somebody behind. There we go. We re-roll. <gasps> Garlic armor at last. Do we give it to you or to you? Probably you. Also, you both will benefit from it. Salad. I do want some salad. There's my third dodo. Could have had a level two dodo. Um, skunk. Probably the dodo is you have to like invest the draft into buffing him. Um, or food. Skunk, mosquito. I think we spend the salad bowl to, uh, oh, perfect. That's value there. There we go. End turn. I need that garlic armor way earlier, though. I need that armor. All right, blatant buttocks versus the untouched bananas. Okay. Looks like a summoning deck, sadly. Oh boy. At least we have garlic armor. No, that'll help. Need that ages ago. Oof. He's a tough boy. Alright, okay. Buff the guy in the back there. 9-11 again. 9-15. We're looking pretty good. The double peacock strategy. The double peacock strategy can't fail. It can never fail. It's too strong. Here we go. Getting nice and powerful. The summoning is going to be an issue. But I have the other peacock as a backup. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Double peacock strategy never fails, never loses. Double peacock strategy never loses. It never loses. Ignore these uh, lost hearts down there. They, they, those don't exist. Don't worry about it. All right, tier five animals unlocked. Oh, some pair. We probably don't want to use that pair, right? Yeah. Uh, th yeah, that's good value right there. Do I do I do I do it on you to like split the value? Maybe actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go harder than the double peacock strategy. Now I can't combine them because it just won't be good value. We c we're committing to the double peacock strategy. Eh, three for one, one's not worth. Uh, I don't care about any of you. We re-roll. Canned food, always use that right away. Oh, the deer. Uh, it's alright, maybe. Uh, what's that sound effect? Uh, I do that a lot. Salad bowl. There we go. Okay, at least one of them got to the right spot. And buff the ants, not the end of the world. Alright, okay, okay. Like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm seeing. The double peacock strategy. I need more garlic armor, though. Garlic armor for the other peacock would be good, too. Garlic armor is surprisingly hard to come by these days. It's, uh... I don't know what it is about today's economy, but garlic armor... Garlic armor is not the easiest thing to come by. There we go. Yes, small little boys. So I can buff them. There we go. That's what you love to see. Nice. Powerful. Strength. There we go. There we go. The double peacock strategy. I think my problem is I was trying to combine the peacocks and the dodos. That's not it. It's all about the double peacock strategy. No dodos. A victory. Good. What do we got here? Turtle, you never work for me. Uh-oh. Give a pet plus one experience. Don't mind if I do. Boom. Plus four attack on itself now. And we have a dragon. I'm not going to be buying too many tier one pets, so its effect is not going to come into play. It is an 810, but I'm not taking out my double peacocks or the camel. Or the giraffe. It's a double peacock camel strategy. Uh, plus camel strategy. Ant. Um, two swans. I think we re Splash? Chili? Chili on somebody? No, we re-roll. Um, <gasps> monkey! Monkey! Ooh, do we sell the ant for the monkey? I think we do. I mean, the plus four, plus two is nice, but in a couple of turns, the plus two, plus two from him would be higher value. Uh, we are losing a 10-9, though, but it's an investment that we may regret. There we go. The question... Ooh, actually, what if... I'd rather give plus two, plus two the peacock over and over, and then the camel can buff that peacock. And then this guy can get plus three, plus three every turn, have garlic armor. If he goes down, he goes down, and he takes some damage, he can buff this peacock and still have the double peacock strategy going. 
The monkey there is back, I suppose. Yeah. That seems real good. Seven damage last enemy. Uh, roll. Another salad bowl is a good choice. Freeze you. We have no level three for the bison. Um, squirrel, pig, schwan, seal. Um, that's not terrible. Eats shop food, gives two random friends, plus one, plus one. But what do I trade for you? Nobody. That's who. Roll again. Seal. I might hang on. Who do we trade for the rooster, though? Kind of got a, The build's kind of full. We're kind of committed to the what we got right now. I think we just salad bowl up. Okay, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. And there we go. 1317 with garlic armor is not bad, but could be bigger. I mean, I had a 50 50 my last run. And we still lost, so it's all about to get the right things. Oh my god, they've got a 4317. That's devastating. If we can survive these summons, though, we'll be able to take it out in one hit with our peacock. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be a tough bit, though. Ooh. Survive, Peacock. I need you to take out that guy in one hit. Although, his melon armor is gonna be a problem for you, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we take him out in one hit? It doesn't look like it, actually. And. Nope. Alright, we got him, though. But. They're dodo. Oh no, wait, wait. <gasps> the monkey! The plus one, plus one of the monkey f that he got from the food gave us that win. Let's have a, a draw. Let's go. Get that dub. See, having like a 50 attack thing isn't everything. It's not everything, because so, there isn't tr trample isn't a thing in this game if you play magic or whatever. Ooh, I could try... It's a bit late to try for the f uh, turkey fly strategy. But yeah, there's a fly there. I mean, I could, s I could save it. Um, Do I go for the straight up... I could be crazy pants and actually go for double camel, double peacock strategy. I would have to sacrifice the giraffe, which kind of sucks. Which kind of sucks. But uh, that would let me buy the cow and sell the cow for free food. Oh. Like, it's like, it's like how valuable at this point is the giraffe? Give me a plus one, plus everyone turn. Like, it's decently valuable to keep buffing that peacock. But then again... Although out my camel would need to be in front of the peacock, which means the peacock would stop getting we would no longer be buffing the peacock at all, and the camel would be getting the buffs. Maybe not, maybe not. Um It's tempting though. And uh so we sell you, we move you back, we put you in front. This buffs him by two two every turn. You take the problem is the problem is the camels are gonna be gonna be getting one shot a lot, and they only he give the plus one plus two if they actually like, survive, so maybe not worth. Chocolate worth using, though. Maybe on... Maybe on you, I think. At this point, you're kind of like our... Our champion of the crew. We re-roll. Snake attack is always good. Um... <laughs> Snail, did I lose my last battle? I don't think I did. Sushi's a good call. There we go. Give snake attack to probably the giraffe. That way, it has a chance of taking out something in front of it, right? Can we end turn? Uh, nothing I wanted to save there, right? No. Okay, 1822, that self buffs. Not bad, not bad. As long as it doesn't get one shot by a scorpion in the front or something. Alright, I see that turtle. Boom! Gone. Alright, now you're gonna melt armor your way to survive that hit. Then I'm gonna body you. Get bodied in the process. There's that steak armor. Mm, they had melt armor, so it didn't really help very much, to be honest, but... Well, it is what it is. And I think we are kind of screwed, and we're going to lose here. I'm lucky. The melon armor was strong. How did that, how did you get melon armor? The melon armor was good, but hey, we got one health left. All we need is five straight wins. We've done better than that before. Blowfish shrimp. There is a cat in this game. Okay. Food with health and attack. Food with health and attack effects are doubled. On itself or all my guys is the question. So that could be worth trading for. Uh, I think we re-roll. Pairs are good. The friend ahead cast her ability twice in battle. <gasps> oh my god. The tiger behind the peacock. Giving itself plus eight attack every turn. Oh, that could be so good. Maybe we give up a... Maybe it's time to transition to, like, the Omega... Transition from the double peacock strategy into the Omega peacock strategy. Thoughts? Then the, pa well, then the camels becomes less useful. Honestly, the camel at this point is kind of mostly getting... 
It's mostly just getting body, not really triggering the effect of buffing the peacock behind it. It might be time to transition the camel out. And, oh, but then if we put you behind that, then you would no longer buff that. I mean, I guess the 1-1 could go buffing you a little bit. Oh, man, I'm, I'm tempted. Or, tempting, tempting. Obviously, we're going to pair this guy up. And maybe I should be pay giving him more food. I don't feel like combining you is huge value at this point. Maybe it's, maybe it's not as useful as I thought, to be honest. You cap at 50 damage anyways. Um, yeah, we re-roll. Salad bowl is good. I'm going to freeze that. Coconut shield. Ignore damage once, but you have to survive the first hit is the problem, which you probably won't. Uh, choice is turtle armor, but I, I hate that turtle melt armor overrides that. I could give, ooh, I could give melt armor to the peacock, actually. Honestly, I feel like giving you peacock armor would be better than this guy probably giving you either nothing or one plus two plus four, actually, at this point in the game. Sell you. Give you turtle armor. And survive one hit for free. I need some garlic armor in my life, huh? That's going to be rolling more for it. Roll again. Oh, canned food. We'll f do we use you right away, or do we freeze you? Use the salad bowl right away. Mammoth, faint, give all friends, plus two, plus two is not bad. Mm, I think we freeze the turtle. And we freeze the canned food. We salad bowl up. Okay, okay, we'll take it. Here we go, get you nice and strong. 23, 27. Please, no scorpion in the front. That'd be bad for me. All right. Not too many people use scorpions. Oh, the mushroom on the ant, huh? Want to really get that buff out there. There's that plus four. Oh, boy. You buffing me again is good, because now it's a guaranteed kill on that guy. And we survived my peacock. was stronger than your peacock, sir. And I have a backup peacock, because it's the double peacock strategy. Gotta commit for the name of the video, you know? That's right. And mail armor. Didn't need it, but there it is. Maybe we should put some more health... Maybe we should start buffing the back peacock more with some food, right? I feel like the tough ones are already... First one are pretty well, pretty well advanced. Ooh, salad bowl. Ooh, leper. Start a battle deal. 50% attack damage for enemy. 4 damage. Eh, whatever. Um, maybe we can food. There we go. And we uh, salad bowl. There we go. We roll. We freeze the pair. Hmm, that's good for summoning deck. Oh, oh, I had the turkey. Uh, I don't know, turn 13 is too late for the turkey. I kind of want to get a turkey rat deck going. Maybe try a summoning deck next. Uh, get the, get the turtle in there. Work on buffing that, and I think we, uh, enter in there. Alright. Seek out our opponents and hope for the best. Sizzling bell towers. Oh, your camel's just gonna get bodied and do nothing to help the winner from Oh my god, the dodo strategy. The do oh my god! What did he have? Did he have splash damage? What just happened? Oh my! Oh my goodness! We're done. The he oh they had the double peacock plus the dodo strategy. Oh no! My double peacock strategy got defeated by a double peacock dodo strategy. Ah, feels bad, man. Smash the like button if you like super auto pets and you want more of it on this channel. All right, That's, and if not, smash that like button anyways.